What's up guys, it's Combat here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and today I'm gonna show you guys how to do this effect right here. Hey, that we blowing cause it's on. Yeah, girl, it's on. You know what it is when I find And that effect right there was famously coined the Drake effect. I swear everybody that comes in the studio, that is the go-to phrase for this effect. It's bro, give me that Drake effect. I need that Drake effect. Well, I got you. I'm gonna show you engineers, producers, whatever artists. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in Pro Tools right now. First, I'm gonna show you the section that I wanna do it on. So um, I'm just gonna play it out. I just really need a sign. Right. Cool, so we have like a cool uh, telephone effect on her vocals and I feel like a good Drake effect would be perfect right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight our, um, or we're just gonna click the beat track and we're gonna duplicate it. So I'm gonna hit duplicate. I'm gonna unclick the active and alternate playlist and hit OK. Sweet. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna add an EQ. You guys all have this like EQ. It's called the EQ7 band. Perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click in right here on the low pass filter, and I'm gonna drag the Q all the way to the right, and I'm gonna bring the frequency to about 500 right here in the middle. Perfect. And now next, I'm gonna highlight, and I hope you guys have the tempo right and you guys have your beat gridded already because this will make it so much easier. Um, if you guys don't know how to do that, I actually have tutorials on how to do exactly that. All right. So uh, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna play it out. Lord, give me a sign. I just really need a sign. Cool, so it pretty much starts there. I highlighted all the way to the end right here. Because I am in grid, I do know this is like the end of that bar. And literally all I do is drag down. Now let's hear it. Give me a sign. I just really need a sign. Please tell me what's right. Cool, so you guys here definitely took out all the highs in there. Um, we did hear a pop when it first dropped, and an easy way to take that out is all we're going to do is drag all of this, and we're going to hit Command F, and then hit Enter. And cool, no more pop, watch. Perfect. So yeah, you guys could hear that um, the Drake effect pretty much makes the snares a lot more like underwater. Uh, the bass and everything just hits a little harder and then all the highs just kind of get, you know, like underwater, you know. Uh, pretty much that is it. If you guys want to adjust this, you guys could adjust the EQ back and forward. I'll show you the difference. Yes, you guys could just mess with it. Um, if you guys want to learn how to automate it, I will definitely show you guys in another tutorial. But for right now, you guys get your Drake effect on with that. All right, so that pretty much concludes our tutorial. If you guys really learned something today and you guys want to keep um, keep up with me on all the presets and templates I drop, all the different tips I give, uh, just please hit that subscribe button and like the video. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, let's get it.